Yo, what's up, everybody? It's your boy, Floss, back again with another video. And today, we're going to take a look at the UE Drops. Now, you can pick these up online. I'll throw the link up in the description. The price on these, 450 bucks. I repeat, 450 bucks. Now, I know what y'all getting ready to say. 450 bucks? Good Lord, that's a lot of money. And you would be right. The price is ridiculous. But keep this in mind. These are the first truly wireless earbuds that are custom fit to your ears. And when I say custom fit, I mean custom, custom fit. Not like the UE fits. Okay, these are custom fit to your ears. The UE drops, these are custom, custom fit. And on the side note, when black people say the same word twice, that means it's serious. Let me give you a perfect example. If somebody says, what you doing tonight? Oh, I'm working. That means you work in an office somewhere, you know, answering phones, maybe work as a security guard, doing something light. But if you work in a warehouse overnight with no air conditioning and you lifting boxes all night, oh, that means you working, working. Okay, that's the difference. When you say the same word twice, that means it's serious. These are custom, custom fit. And I'm going to show you how deep it is. Okay, these are extreme custom fit. So let's go through the specs real quick. Now these come in three different colors. You got Sapphire, Rose Quartz, and Onyx. Now these are Bluetooth version 4.2. Okay, I know, I know, 4.2. <laughs> the codex is SBC, AAC, and APTX. Now these are IPX4, sweat and water resistant. You got 9.2 millimeter dynamic drivers. These feature multi-point connection. Okay, now you can have eight different devices connected and two simultaneously. Now you got built-in mics for hands-free phone calls. You're getting passive noise isolation, no active noise cancellation, passive noise isolation, and transparency mode. Now you got touch controls, which are customizable for play and pause, skip and reverse tracks, and you can also activate your voice assistant. Now the battery life on these is eight hours on a single charge with an additional 14 hours using the charging case so that's a total of 22 hours. Now you got quick charge, five minutes of charge will give you one hour worth of playtime. Now the case also features wireless charge. You got an app that's available for Android and iOS. And the most important feature about these earbuds, these are custom, custom fit to your ears. All right, now at the end of this video, I'm gonna answer three questions. Number one, are these really worth 450 bucks? Okay, Bluetooth 4.2, no active noise cancellation. The price is kind of high, but we're going to see if it's worth it. Number two, are these the best fitting earbuds that I have? Now, I will say this. With the UE fits, y'all know when I do the head shake test, I start off with minimum shakeage, intermediate shakeage, and then maximum shakeage. With these, I took it to ludicrous shakeage, and these did not move. Now, this is another set of earbuds that don't have active noise cancellation, but when you got a custom fit like this, custom fit to your ears, you might not need it. Okay, you're going to get a great seal, so you get passive noise isolation. So right now, these are the best fitting earbuds that I have. Let's see if these step it up to the next level. And the last question is, are you really going to miss active noise cancellation? Because if you're spending 450 bucks for earbuds without ANC, <laughs> it better have the best passive noise isolation on this planet. All right, so before we unbox it, there's one more thing I gotta show you. Now, I actually ordered these about a month ago. When you order them, they're not gonna come immediately. You're gonna get a fit kit. Let me show you how the fit kit works. Now, when you first order the earbuds, before they send them to you, they're gonna send you a fit kit. Now, this does come with a return UPS label, okay? It says, fit kit, find your fit. So we're gonna download the app, Okay, capture your air print and then send it back. Now, this is so unique. I've never seen this before. Okay, so we're going to figure out how to do this. Let's see what this looks like, though. Open up one of these. Okay, yeah, so we're going to mold these into the shape of our ears and then we're going to send these back and get custom earbuds. Okay, so let me download the app and go through the process. All right, so I just downloaded the UE Fits app, okay? And here's the process overview. So we're gonna take an ear selfie. We're gonna choose your tip size. Then we're gonna document your fit. 
Mold your tips. Okay, let's keep it moving. All right, so let's start off with stage one. We're gonna take an ear selfie. Move the phone to your right ear. Hold still, ear detected. Capture complete. Okay, so we got the right ear, let's continue. Move the phone to your left ear. Hold still, ear detected. Capture complete. Okay, so we got the left ear. Let's keep it moving. Okay, so now it wants me to choose my size tips. So let's go ahead and do that. Now in each one of these packages, you got left and right. So you got a small and a large size mold. So I'm gonna go with the large. All right, so here's how you're gonna do that. Insert lower tip into canal. Rotate backwards until the upper tip is tucked. Ensure tip is tucked under. Okay. Pulling up on the ear may help. Let me go ahead and do that. All right, so now they want us to document your fit. Okay, so we're gonna take some more selfies wearing these molds. All right, so let's do the selfies. Hold still, ear detected. Now, move the phone to your left ear. Hold still. Ear detected. I couldn't find your left ear. Okay, let me Try move Try moving your right. phone around. Hold still. Ear detected. I couldn't find your left ear. Try moving your phone around. Okay. Hold still. Ear detected. Capture complete. Okay. Yeah, now it was kind of weird holding the phone without seeing it, but I got a good picture now. All right, so let's go to the next step. Now the next step is to uh, power up the cable. So let me go ahead and plug that in. All right, so we just plugged it in. Now let's hit the next step. Okay, looking for your cable. Let's get it in range. Okay, now we're gonna connect this via Bluetooth. All right, so we're gonna pair this up using Bluetooth. So UE Fit Kit just popped up. All right, so I just took the molds out of my ears and connected them to the cables. Let's go to the next step. All right, so this is the best part. Now we're preparing for customization. Let's get into it. Now, they're gonna ask you to hold the tips lightly in place in your ears for 60 seconds. They're gonna play some music. It actually sounds pretty good. And when they're playing the music, the earbuds are gonna heat up. All right, these little molds, they're gonna get extra hot in your ears. This is one of the wildest experiences that I've ever had with earbuds. Okay, so this looks like it's all set. We're gonna pack these up and ship them back out. <laughs> now, this is kind of crazy. If you look closely, these are molded to the exact shape of my ears. Exact shape. All right, so I put the fit kit back in the box. Now I'm gonna ship them out and wait to get the earbuds in return. All right, so it's been about a little over three weeks since I mailed off the fit kit. I just got the UE drops in the mail. So now let's go ahead and unbox them and see what it is. First things first, shout out to White Shoes. She got the day off. Okay, 450 bucks. UE drops. Nice white box, I like that. Giggity. Let's get the poking. Wow. Okay. Now, as far as the presentation, let's see. Okay, little slide out sleeve. UE drops. Okay, now here's your touch controls. So you got play and pause, answering and phone calls, skip and reverse tracks. You do have volume up and down. You have a uh, double tap to activate awareness. Okay, that's our transparency mode. And another double tap for trans uh, noise isolation. No ANC, noise isolation. Okay, and again, there's an app for Android and iOS. Now this case, pretty huge. Okay, let me see if I can... Uh, Okay, let's see anything else in here. Okay, flick of the wrist. This looks like USB type C charging cable. Angle levels increasing. Okay, here we go. Okay, not that long. <laughs> okay, uh, we're gonna keep it classy. Usual books and shit, pluck them and follow them. That's pretty much it. 
Okay, now this is um about the size of the Bose, the Quiet Comforts, the Originals case. Okay, now look at this. Ultimate is Brandon. Let's see. Now these are, okay, LEDs. Now I went with the Onyx color. And just like on the Fit Kit, you got the color coded for left and right. And these are molded to the exact shape of my ears. I am so hyped to try these out. But for 450 bucks, they better sound amazing, okay? The fit is one thing, but they better sound amazing. Now, on a side note, a lot of y'all have the same problem. I don't have this problem, but a lot of people always hit me up in the comments and say, oh, I tried the B&Os. I tried the Master Dynamics. I tried the AirPods. I can never get the right fit. And I always say, well, if you can't get the right fit, get a set of UE fits. These are guaranteed to give you the right fit. At 450 bucks, it might not be any better fit on the market than these, and they actually look pretty sick with the clear gels. Drop them back in the case. There it is. All right, so I'm gonna pause the video. <laughs> these, these just look, they look wild, they look wild. But most of this clear stuff is gonna be in your ears, so just gonna see the little black parts. Like I said, this is the onyx color. I'm gonna pause the video, we'll grab a phone, pair these up, and start our usual testing. Talk amongst yourselves. All right, y'all, so we back in. Now, the first thing we gotta do is check the case for wireless charge. Now, I got the Razer wireless charger. If anything charges, you'll see lights flashing on the bottom. Okay. You see the LEDs lit up, lights flashing, wireless charger on deck. All right, so now let's take a look at the charging case. And just for size comparison, this is the new king of big charging cases, even bigger than the Bose. Soft matte feel on this, so you're getting no fingerprints. Ultimate is Brandon. On the back, USB Type-C charging slot. On the front, there's your three LEDs. Once you open it up, you're gonna get your battery charge indicators, Bluetooth pairing button, and that's pretty much it. Now let's check the magnet strength. We'll start off with minimum shakage. No movement, intermediate shakage. Okay, intermediate shakage. Let's try that one more time. Okay, intermediate shakage. Okay, intermediate shakage. So the magnet strength is pretty good. If you drop these with this big ass case, I doubt if it's gonna pop out. Let's just try it though, why not? Let's see. If you drop these, yeah, I don't think the earbuds are gonna pop out. So pretty good strength on the magnets. Now let's take a look at the actual earbuds. These are the black onyx color. This may look like gel, but it feels like glass. Okay, you cannot move this material. They look beautiful though. And again, blue and red for right and left branding. All right, now as usual, once you get a new set of earbuds or headphones and they do have an app, go to the app and check for an update. So this one has an update available, so let's get an update them. All right, so now that the update is complete, let's take a look at the UE Drops app. Now this is real simple. Once you open it up, you got the name of your earbuds, you got the battery percentage for the left, the right, and the charging case. You got a picture of your earbuds. You can turn transparency mode on or off. You got different sound profiles. So you got UE Balanced, Bass Boost, Podcast, and Loudness. Now you can't manually customize the EQ settings. You got your button controls, fully customizable for the left and on the right. You got voice prompts. You got all your device info and your product guide. Again, with the EQ, you only have presets. Simple and straightforward. All right, and one more thing. Ladies and gentlemen, late but still great, White shoes is back in the building. White shoes. I love my 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 white shoes. Calm down. Now, usually I would say the sound test is the most important test, but you just spent 450 bucks for some custom fitting earbuds. So I'm gonna say the fit test is the most important test. Now I just put these in my ears and I will tell you. Right away, you're gonna feel that noise isolation. The fit is incredible. Now, I turned on transparency mode so I can hear my voice crystal clear. I can hear my snaps, hear my fingers on the table. Now, I'm gonna start off with 
minimum shakage. And let's see if these earbuds move at all. Okay, no movement. Now let's go to intermediate shakage. No movement. Look how shoes is looking at me because she knows what's coming next. Now let's go to maximum shakage. <clears throat> okay, no movement at all. Now I just put my headband on because we're gonna increase this to ludicrous shakage. Okay, let me, let me make sure I don't knock nothing over. All right, here we go. Ah! Okay, <laughs> ludicrous shakage. These earbuds do not move at all. Y'all see shoes just broke out. She was like, what is this bastard doing behind the camera? The fit on these. Okay, now this might be worth the money. If you're constantly buying earbuds and you can't get that right fit, these fit amazing, amazing. Now here's how they look in my ears. You see, I put the headband on to keep my hair from flying around all over the place. The perfect fit. Now I will say this. Let me take these out. <laughs> I will say this. With the glass, it's a unique feeling because you know usually your earbuds feel like silicone or rubber tips or even a comply foam tips. It's gonna feel weird at first with these big glass things in your ears. But it feels good. It feels weird in a good way. The fit. Let me put them back in again. <laughs> okay. The fit. Oh my God. Let me I put transparency mode back on. Okay, so I can hear myself. Perfect fit. Now let's do the second most important test, the sound test. Now before I talk about the sound, there's one more thing I want to talk about because I just turned transparency mode off. It definitely feels like these have active noise cancellation because basically it feels like you got a set of earplugs in. Okay, if you just if you have a flu and you use earplugs on your flight, this feels like a straight set of earplugs. Or if you went to the shoot'em range and you just put in a set of raw earplugs, that's what these feel like, okay? You don't have any of that computerized noise cancellation, so when you put your earbuds in, let's say um, your Bose or your Sonys or my favorites, the B&Os, when you turn on ANC, you get that whoosh. It feels like all of the oxygen is sucked out of your brain and it gets ultra quiet. These feel like just taking two cotton balls and shoving them in your ears and you're getting noise cancellation like that. All right, so this is old school noise cancellation. All right, so I got a classic song queued up. We got Coolio, Gangsta's Paradise. And let me say, R.I.P. to Coolio, one of the legends. Okay, I'm gonna start off at max volume and the EQ set to loudness. Okay, so here we go. One tap for playing pause. Let's get it on. Okay. <laughs> Okay, nice amount of volume. Not super loud. I promise y'all I'm not gonna sing. As I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I take a look at my life and realize there's nothing left. Cause I've been blasting and laughing so long that even my mama thinks that my mind is gone. But I ain't never crossed a man that didn't deserve it. Me treated like a punk, you know that's unheard of. You better watch out you talk while you're walking. Now this I you lied and talk. All right, hold up. Let me pay attention now. Okay. Now, let me hit pause. I gotta be honest with y'all, I am not flabbergasted, okay? They, they, they sound good. Let me, let me take it to another song. Okay, let's take it over to uh, Brandy, Top of the World. Now this has a little bit more bass, and let's go to the EQ settings and put it to bass boost. Okay, here we go. Now this is one of my favorite songs, Brandy, Top of the World. Okay, okay. Mm -mm. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Now you can hear the bass rolling crystal clear. Okay, but definitely not too loud. Dark child, bass kid, Harlem on the rise. Okay, hold on, hold on. Let me, let me, let me pay attention. Come on, come on. I went from Helly Hanson to many mansions to girls in the Ruba do a belly dancing. Spent half of my advances, jaws from Branson to make it to my circumstances. But you know I'm wiser now. Moves like Kaiser now. Got a butter soft, nothing just to hide my path. Okay, hold on. All right. Now, definitely not too loud. So I might give a six to my chick, bears to my mom's. 
crib so big it looked like the Santa gone. Give her a couch just to spill Haney on and bend the dawn since my nose and bend the taunts. Some people say that I'm in my same girl. Some people say that I'm in my own world. Okay, I am not flabbergasted though. I, 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 I'm not blown away. I'm not blown away. This is max volume. Yeah. Hmm. I'm just trying to be me, do what I gotta do. Some people think that I'm sitting on top of the world. Y'all better download this song if you never heard it. Okay. All right. Let me let me stop playing around. Let me stop playing around. Okay. Matter of fact, hold on. Let me let, let, let me let me not let me not roast just yet. Let's take it over to Nipsey Hussle Blue Laces Two for the final test. Okay. This is the final test. Okay. The volume is not that loud, though. Okay. Okay. Ooh, okay. <laughs> the bass is clean, though. Oh, my God. The, the, all right, hold up. Okay, yeah. Now, here's one thing I noticed. When I said the bass is rolling, when you hear a bass, a, a real bass line, it almost sounds like it's rolling. That's hard to explain. Now, if you got headphones, like a set of Skull Candy Crushers, something with overpowering, heptic feedback bass, you're not gonna hear it. It's just gonna sound like <laughs> But if you ever hear a real system, something like Meridian. Uh, now, shout out to um, Meridian. They flew me to Germany a couple of years ago, and they put me in the sound room with the Meridian sound, okay? The, the, those systems that cost $50,000 systems. It sounds like the bass is rolling. <laughs> it's hard to explain. The clarity on these, right, the clarity, you can hear that roll of the bass. You can hear every single instrument, but it's not that much volume. Now, I know somebody's going to say, I always get the same comment all the time. Oh, make sure you put the volume up on the earbuds and on, on the phone. <sighs> Come on, man. <laughs> I, <laughs> this is not my first day on the job, okay? Before I say something that's not loud, there's something called editing. A lot of y'all don't, don't realize this editing that goes on in these videos, though. But when I'm behind the scenes, I test everything out, okay? I don't just be like, oh, okay, this is it. No, I, I test out separate volume controls. I check out, check out all of the app EQ settings. I test everything out. And if I do make any mistakes, because a lot of, th a lot of times I do a lot of live stuff, I know y'all YouTube correction officers, oh, you forgot to... Before you, before you start typing, always go to description because even after the video, if I play around with something or a lot of times I get brand new products, I make a video and then the very next day, y'all remember the JBL, the Project Rocks, the very next day or the same day after I shoot, they push out an update and something changes. So always look at the video description first, okay? And if I find, figure anything out, then I'll put it right there. But as of right now, I'm gonna say these sound terrific, but the volume, they are not that loud, okay? You, you're not gonna be blown away. They're not super loud. And on top of that, no active noise cancellation and they're not that loud. I'm dying to see how these fare with the baby crying test, but I, I, I'm pretty, I'm almost 100% sure these are not gonna pass that test. But just in terms of pure volume and in terms of sound quality, volume, not the loudest. All right, on a scale of one to 10, I would say that, that something like the uh, Clips T5 A, A and Cs, those have a 10 in terms of volume. Those get super loud. Uh, Liberty Pro 3s, those get mad loud. Okay, a lot of earbuds get super loud. These ain't that loud. Right? They're not that loud, but the clarity. Right? If you if you into right, music that has a lot of clarity, symphony orchestras, you know, pop music, maybe slow jazz, R&B to an extent, you're going to love these. But for Nipsey Hussle Blue Laces 2, you want more volume and you want more bass these are not delivering, okay? For 450 bucks, I would say, <laughs> matter of fact, let, let me hold off, let me hold off. Let's do a little bit more testing. And one more side note, I know my videos be kind of long, but you gotta remember, okay? I'm, I'm not making videos just so I could get the most likes and the most shares. I never ask anybody to like my videos or share them. I make videos for serious consumers. Now, if you're a serious consumer and you're getting ready to spend 450 bucks, I want you to know at the end of this video everything that there is to know, and I want you to feel like I tested everything out. I could just easily say, oh yeah, I tested everything out. These is good. Buy them. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, share with your friends. I'm not trying to get the views like that. I want y'all to be satisfied, okay? So that's why I take my time with these videos. So let's do a little bit more testing. 
All right, so now let's do the reconnection test. How long do these take to reconnect to your phone after you take them out and put them in the charging case? Okay, so you see, UE drops. Let's take them out. Drop them in the case. Fully disconnected. Here we go. One Mississippi. Two Mississippi. Okay, two Mississippis. Now you do have voice prompt. It said connected, battery at 80%. Excellent. All right, so now let's do the one earbud test. Can you play music from one earbud while the other one is charging up in the case? Here we go, let's hit play. Okay, now I'm gonna take out the left side, drop it in, and just fully disconnect it. Okay, now it reconnected, now it's playing. Okay, let's put the left side back in. Okay, it just reconnected. Now let's try it with the right side. Okay, disconnect it. And started playing again. All right, so this is pretty dope. You can use either earbud independently, basically doubling your battery life. All right, so now let's check the touch controls. And on the side note, each earbud has a physical button and a touch capacitive button. So you see you got a physical press or a tap. And they're fully customizable. So here's how I got mine set up. So single press on the right earbud for play and pause. That'll also answer and end phone calls. Now, double press to skip to the next song. Okay. Now, double tap to go to the previous track. Okay. No issues. And press and hold for volume up. Okay. Now, for the left earbud, press and hold for volume down. Okay. Double press. That'll activate transparency mode. Okay, now I hear my voice crystal clear. And for voice assistant, hey Siri, what's the weather for tomorrow? Okay, so all of the touch controls work. And again, fully customizable. All right, so now let's check for latency. And what I mean by that is, when you're watching a video, is there any delay from the person's lips to what you hear? Okay. Okay, no lip sync delay at all. Sounds perfect. All right, so now let's check the call quality. I'm gonna call up Amaya. Okay, UE drops. It automatically switched to transparency mode. Let's get max volume. Let's see if she's gonna answer that. Yeah. Hi, girly. What you doing? I asked you first. Oh, you sound like you were sleeping. Oh, oh, I'm hating. <laughs> I'm hating on the beauty sleep. All right, my bad, my bad. All right, well, you know you know what time of the day it is. I got some new headphones. I got to test them out. How do I sound? Sound good? Is it good or great? Great? No, these are not Apple. These are not Apple. Yo, calm down, bro. Damn. Oh, these are not Apple. You are definitely not going to like these. Trust me. You are, I guarantee you're not gonna, you're not even gonna like how these look. But I still gotta, I still gotta put them to the test. Now, okay, I'm, 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 before we wrap it up, <laughs> you're talking about let's wrap it up. All right, so what about now? Do you hear any, you hear any wind? You do hear the wind? All right, is it bad or just a little bit? Okay, not too bad though. But it's definitely, definitely would, would you be able to have a full conversation like this or would it be annoying? Oh, really? Okay. Okay. Well, what about now? This is maximum win. What about now? Oh, it's, oh damn. All right. Okay. Okay. All right. So, all right. So, this is a no go. Not for the win. But as far as right now, just for voice, voice call it. Okay. Now, good. All right. Now, but, now before I get out of here, I got one more thing. Yo, your friend Sinai got money? Because I got, I, I just, I just got an idea. I can roll with y'all to that party tonight. Y'all can just hire me as a bouncer. Y'all can hire me as security. I got an all black shirt. Yeah, I'll give y'all a special deal. I have fifty dollars a piece, a hundred bucks. I so live. Think, just think about it, cause you know what I'm saying. Y'all can have a personal bodyguard. Now I, I can only, I can only work for a couple hours, cause once I start getting my drink on, y'all on your own, know you. Now, you know, you know the deal. All right, I'm gonna call you back in a minute. All right, bye. Okay, now, okay, now, as soon as I exited the phone call, 
the uh, transparency mode turned off. I will say this. They did sound great on my end. She said I sounded good, not great. And, you know, you, you, you see, she could tell the difference. And I can feel the difference. When I put the wind, y'all know a lot of my earbuds, they pass the wind test noise. As soon as I put the wind on at about 30% wind, she was like, oh, no, I hear the wind. Then when I put it on maximum wind, she would be like, nah, this would be annoying. Why is that important? That's the same simulation as if I'm sitting in the car driving with my window down and wind's coming in the car or I'm walking around outside. You don't want to talk to somebody with wind noise. Now, a lot of people always say, oh, how come I, how come I put audio clips into the videos? Because at the end of the day, YouTube compresses the videos and not to mention... Audio quality on phone calls is kind of subjective because if you got Bob's Fish and Chips and Wireless and I got Verizon 5G, one of us is going to have better call quality and it, it might not have to do with the earbuds. All right, if you, you, you're rolling around on 3G networks, you might not have the best call quality. I use Amaya because that's the person that I talk to the most and she said that these is okay, not great. So I'm going to stamp that down as okay call quality. All right, so now let's do the baby crying test. This is going to test for noise cancellation, or in this instance, noise isolation. Okay, so here we go. Let's hit the noise. Okay. <laughs> All right, now let me show y'all what I'm going to do first, just in case you might not hear me over the baby crying. First, I'm just going to put the earbuds in and see how much noise it drowns out of just pure noise isolation. Then I'm going to plus play on some music. Now I got Future, March Madness. All right, this is a loud, obnoxious song. So let's see if it drowns out the baby. Now y'all know, top tier ANC, you're not gonna hear any of the baby crying. God tier, same thing. Here we go. Let's put these in. Okay. <laughs> now, when I put them in, It'll be the same as putting in earplugs, okay? It, you still hear the baby cry and it just got a little bit lower, but it would still be equally as annoying. Now let's try some music. Okay. <laughs> okay, now I still hear some crying. I'm gonna wait for the beat to drop and see if I drown it out. Okay. Okay, shut the fuck up! Okay, hold up. All right, now, I gotta be honest with y'all. I thought I was gonna hear the baby crying, but I guess when you got the right fitting earbuds, you don't need active noise cancellation. Now look, I pride my channel on being 100% honest with y'all. Now, when the, f the song first started, you know, this song took a minute to get going. You know, dress it up and, you know, he's talking and the beat don't really drop. So I did hear a little, eh, eh, in the background. I'm like, huh. But when the beat dropped, dirty stuff in the, uh, oh, dress it up and get the money going. When, when the beat was popping like that, I was purposely trying to hear the baby crying and I did not hear it. Now, I did this same test, okay, the other day with the AirPod Pros. I had the second generation AirPod Pros. And I still heard a faint, faint, faint sound of the baby crying. Okay, that's why I wasn't able to give those God tier noise cancellation. Top tier, you're still gonna hear, a, you might hear in between certain verses of the song when the music drops, just like this. When certain parts of the song, you might hear a little eh, eh, from the baby in the background. But when the music is at full throttle, you're not gonna hear nothing with these or the AirPods. And surprisingly, with these, I did not hear nothing. Now, I just want to reconfirm this. <laughs> I'm sorry, I got to kill y'all one more time. I activate, activate annoying baby. Activate music. Now, I am listening for the baby. We're balling like March Madness. Oh, this is what I'm talking about. All right, me, all right. Okay. Wow. Okay, I'm a believer. I'm a believer. I'm a believer. You do not necessarily need active noise cancellation if you could get the right fitting earbuds. So we just learned something new today. I'm, I like learning stuff together with y'all because I've tried comply phone tips on all of my earbuds. That's what I usually rock with. 
Oh, okay. Not on these. On my, oh, yeah, I do. I did put them on these, too. You see, I always switch to comply foam tips. That's going to give you the best seal, and that's going to make you feel like even if your ANC is on okay tier, it's going to make it go up a tier. So if you got top tier and use comply foam tips, it's going to change your ANC to God tier. These right here, I would rank these as God tier noise isolation. Okay, this is God tier. For earbuds that don't have any microphones giving you computerized noise cancellation, these are amazing. Amazing. Now, let me go ahead and wrap this video up and answer those couple of questions. Now, one more thing. I try to think of all of the questions that people are going to ask me and cover those topics in my video. And I know somebody's going to ask, okay, well, I can never fit earbuds. We got two custom fitting earbuds. You got the UE fits and the UE drops. Which one sounds better? Now, I just did a quick side by side test and it's without a doubt. All right, it's not even close. The UE drops sound way better than the UE fits. Now, the UE fits, these sound pretty good, but the drops sound way better. Okay, night and day, not even close. And when it comes to fit, these have <laughs> ludicrous shakage level fitting. Okay, I would say God tier fit. These is the top tier of God tier. All right, these are celestial tier fitting earbuds. These have the best fit out of any earbuds I've ever used in my life. All right, so now let me answer a couple of questions. Number one, are the UE drops really worth 450 bucks? And honestly, I'm gonna say yes and no. In terms of sound quality and features, no. Definitely not. And just to make sure that I'm not getting jaded from using a thousand different earbuds every week, I said, you know what? Let me do a quick side by side with my BO EX versus the UE drops. As soon as I put these on, I listened to the same song, that Coolio song, and then I was like, okay, now I remember. Now I remember why these are my number ones, okay? I gotta use that word again, flabbergasted. I was flabbergasted. I put on Brandy, top of the world. I just wanted to do a quick side-by-side -side comparison. And these, in terms of sound quality, I mean, these are blowing the UEs out of the water. Now these are 400 bucks and you get an active noise cancellation, customizable EQ. I mean, these are just a better deal. So I would say in terms of just sound quality and features, no, definitely not worth 450 bucks. If I had to rate a price, for the way they sound, I would say these sound like a set of $100, maybe $150 earbuds. Because you got Liberty Pro 3s, you got a lot of earbuds for under $200, Sennheiser CX. That would sound better than these, okay? These, these are not gonna knock your socks off for sound quality. So definitely not worth 450 bucks. Now, here's the flip side to that. The reason I would say yes is again, if you're one of these people that you buy the Comply Foam Tips, all right, no matter what size tips you get, no matter what kind of earbuds you get, you just can't find your fit. You can't find your fit. You tried everything. Nothing stays in your ears. These will stay in your ears. These are made for your ears. Nobody else's, okay? Not like the UE fits. You see, these have these have like a, a gel, you see? These are kind of like a gel. So they still move and mold a little bit. Not these, okay? Not these. This glass... These are not gonna move. They're always gonna stay the exact shape of your ear. So I would say, look, if you're one of these people that you can never wear earbuds and you just wanna be down with the earbud committee, but earbuds just don't fit you, you might have to spend a couple of extra dollars and get something that's custom fit. And these are gonna give you that ultimate custom fit. Trust me, best fitting earbuds that I've ever used. Which brings me to my second uh, question. Are these the best fitting earbuds that I've ever used? Yes, okay, yes. These are number one and these are number two. Second best fitting earbuds, both from UE. Number three. Now this is a question that I, I would have bet money that the answer would have been different. But the question is, are you gonna miss having active noise cancellation? And the answer is no. Especially if you're playing music at maximum volume. Now at lower volumes, then you will have a little bit more of the outside world. But the fit is so snite, uh, snite, that's that's snug and tight. I just, I, I'll be making up new words. Remember, textages? Put that to the uh, to the library. Textages is a word, and snite. These fit snite. That means snug and tight. Snite. You got a snite fit on these. The fit is so snite that you're not going to hear any outside noise if you're playing these at maximum volume. So the answer is no. You're not going to miss active noise cancellation, which kind of blew me away. 
So overall, on a scale of one to 10, I'm gonna give these a double ranking. In terms of sound quality and look and features, I would say these are a major go. Okay, nothing to really write home about. But in terms of fit, UE has done it again. In terms of just the fit, just the fit alone, I'm giving these a major, 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 major go. That's a quad major. That's the highest ranking I could give on my channel. Remember, we're not talking about sound quality and features. We're talking about just fit alone. These survived ludicrous shakage. And when you put these in your ears, I'm telling you, it's hard to explain. I've never really used earbuds that feel like they're made out of glass. Like it feels a little bit weird at first, but they fit so good into your ears. I'm telling you, I mean, it's like, I feel like I could do a hundred backflips right now. Like I guarantee you these will be perfect for the gym. These are not moving around at all. And then when you pop them out, another thing that I like too, since they all glass, you don't have to worry about ear wax and all that stuff. So when you pop them out, you just wipe them on your shirt, bonk, right? <laughs> no smegma, no foreign materials, no greases, nothing like that. They just, gonna, they just gonna look beautiful. And like I said, don't worry about all that glass. Once you got these in your ears, you can't really see that. You're just gonna see little black dots, very discreet. So anyway, UE, UE drops, right, let me say that right, UE drops, like I said, as far as fit, quad major go, sound quality, eh, major go. I right, definitely not trash, but not blowing your socks off. Hit me up in the comments. Let me know what y'all think about these. Shout out to everybody rocking with me on Facebook, Foursquare, Twitter, Google Plus. Shout out to all the Google gangsters. I see y'all holding down that Facebook page. Shout out to everybody hitting me up on Boxer. And a special shout out to everybody rocking with me on Instagram. Y'all know that's where I'm at full time, 100% full throttle. And a special shout out to everybody rocking with the new stream on Sundays. Y'all already know, Stream Gangsters on deck. Get your drinks ready. No meat boys allowed. Oh yeah, special shout out to everybody following me on Snapchat, Flossy underscore Carter, that's where I'm at. And a special shout out to the notification squad. I see y'all in the comment section early. Hashtag salute. Oh yeah, one more thing. I almost forgot. Fellas, ladies, say it with me. All y'all haters, all y'all trolls, close your eyes. Picture me, bro. It's your boy Floss, I'm out. Two cents. Enterprise. Spock here. Spock won the beam up. situation where everybody in the world uses technology and if you're gonna buy some of that technology you gotta understand certain things subscribe to Flossy Carter he does reviews of all the latest technology the iPhones the iPads the galaxies the Samsung's whatever the fuck the beach by that doctor guy and he puts his kitty cat in the videos too for you something to look at you know, I'm an animal lover, so I like that shit. So make sure you hit the subscribe button, the Flossy Carter on the YouTube, the follow button on the Insta face, and the like button on the face look. Because if you don't, we're going to have a fucking problem here. A bad one. Now hit the fucking subscribe button.